Good evening, church, members, and visitor. Welcome to our Wednesday prayer meeting. To start our service, may I call on Brother Randy to lead us in a word of prayer. Uh, let's all stand and let's pray. Dear God, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time, Lord, you give us an opportunity to gather around this uh, church panon to pray uh, for our brethren na uh, mayroon sakit panon na naway kayo pong magabay sa amin panon at uh, bigyan niyo po sila ng uh, kalakasan at uh, also give him your uh, uh, healing hands panon also sa mga pupunta pa lamang po, ingatan niyo po sila panon and bless this day panon and Let's lay us in your name, pray. Amen. Remain standing as we open our hymn books to page 73. 73, we'll be singing the song, God Leads Us Alone. On the first verse now, ready, sing. In shady green. So rich and so sweet God needs His dear children along Where the water cools flows Made a weary one's feet God needs His dear children along Good evening once again, and it's time to hear your thirst testimony. We would like to hear from you. By the way, there's an update for Brother Aaron. Uh, uh, this, the surgery last Monday, I was there. The surgery last Monday was successful. And uh, wala na yung tubo sa bibig niya. Yun yung inaangal niya. I think katatanggal lang kanina. Or, and nasa... Recovery, ano na siya. He, she's, he's not yet out of the woods, but we continue to pray for him. So that's a good news. Okay, so any, any blessing from the Lord? We'd like to hear from you. Anybody? You wants to share? Okay, Sister Lillian. It's always, it's always a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. At mm, siguro sa labas, sabi nga, sa balita, pag nababalitaan mo yung riding in tandem, nakakatakot. 
But it's a blessing this afternoon that I was visited in a riding on tandem. <laughs> uh, it's a blessing for me, Pastor, that you visited us. Uh, for a long time, ibig sabihin, ngayon lang uli ako nabisita sa bahay. So it's a blessing for me. Okay, palaga sumikat yung riding in tandem na yan, ah. Al Jade and Jerry. Okay, we thank the Lord for that. And right now, that is my commitment. Uh, to this church, I'm going to visit lahat ng mga nawawala, nagwawala, walang wala, tsaka wala lang. Yan. Lahat yan, i-visit na yan. Para maging maayos ang buhay. Okay? We thank the Lord for that. Eh, meron pa ba? Ma'am Lisa. Um, good evening po sa lahat. Uh, nagpapasalamat po ako dahil na nagkaroon kami ng time kanina ni Sister Merlin. First time ko pong nakavisit ng isang member po dito sa Santa Mesa. Um, nakakatuwa sana uh, every Wednesday pagpunta sana namin dito. Meron kami next na mga naka-schedule na bibisitahin din. Yun lang po. Maraming salamat. Yeah, Amen. Ma. Marami talaga kaming bibisitahin eh. Okay, marami. So, hintay lang po yung mga ano yan. Isa-isa lang po, bibisitahin namin kayo. Kung meron kayo ding suggestion na gusto nyong bisitahin, sabihin nyo lang sa amin at pupuntahan namin ni Brother Al J. Okay, any more? Yeah, Ma'am Grace. Good evening, Church. Last Saturday po, nagpunta kami sa prospect area namin for DBBS. Nung last time nagpupunta sila Merlin, puro mga bata-bata lang ang nandun naka-standby. Pero nung Saturday, nagpunta kayo, puro mga high schooler yung mga naka, nandun sa labas. Kaya nasheran po namin sila ng gospel. At tumanggap po sila, they are six na mga high schooler na nakapakinig ng salita ng Diyos. At salamat po. Amen. Uh, excited na tayo sa DVBS. Uh, that will be July 4, 5, and 6. Okay, isama, isama ko sa mga driver dyan, no? Sanay po tayo magsindu ng mga bata. Meron pa ba? Before we go to prayer, anyone you want to share your blessing, testimony? Sige, uh, let's go to our, let's get your partner. Partner tayo, and then mag-pray. Gawa po kayo ninyong kapartner, and then tayo po ay mag-pray para sa isa't isa.
O God in heaven, we continually pray for the following people. These are the prayer requests of our brethren for today. And believing that you are hearing our prayers, we know that you can do something with our prayers according to your will. The following people are suffering from cancer. We are praying for Ines Castellano, Hias Morales, Sister Sonia Bascierto, Sister Irene Marcelo, complete healing from throat cancer, Joe Belesa, Roma Falguera, Gisela Salenga, wife of Mark Salenga, ongoing chemo for cancer. We pray for her recovery. Adelaida Navarro, mother of Janet Medidas, recurrence colorectal cancer. Angelica Sarayu for leukemia. Dorilene Failma, healing from cancer and your financial provision upon her. Mark Agliam for chemotherapy and your provision upon him. Angelita Lisserte, healing from cancer. The same thing with people who are uh, experiencing breast cancer. We pray for their complete healing. Sister Janet Medidas, Ma'am Carol Luanco, Cory Esquillo, Susan Mapuyan, Ma'am Marites Viray, strength for her, Jeveline Tatel, strength and financial provision, Rebecca Capilan, salvation and healing, Rowena Banyes, Ingelbert Noveda Anti, we pray for strength, Caris Marquez, wife of missionary JC Marquez, for complete healing from her operation. The same thing with people who have kidney problem and diabetes, Sister Mina Padaga, strength and financial provision, Promencio Capuras, Tony Ababao, Sister Elvi Giloreza, Brother Leon Cabico, Danilo Solomon, recovery from kidney problem, Dante Rodolfo is undergoing dialysis, Sister Delia Yu, ongoing dialysis as well and provision for her, Mari Lubongat and Alicia Trabizonda, and they are undergoing dialysis as well. People who are suffering from stroke, Tony Chowa for osteoporosis, Jose Tamunda, Gilmar Cabico for uh, recovery, Sister Ramona Malpaho, but Ricardo Marquez. The same thing with Jocelyn Suministrado, bone problem, Enoch Cronces Valles, cerebral si palsy, Brother Willie Garcia, back pain, continue to touch this. Sister Joyce Mayuga, her medication will work for her. Mom Sherry Lontok, chronic headache and cervical spondylosis. Mom Lucy Lairon, good health for her. Bernardo Gariando, for full recovery from aneurysm. Lydia Abordo, complete healing from sciatic nerve pain. Dennis Durete, physical strength. Rain Ariate Bartilet, safe and healthy pregnancy and your provision upon uh, her. Cheryl Di Bernardo, our one of the ABBC students, and she needs a complete recovery from lupus. Ning Nai Xiang, mother of Sister Lunti Khan, for the strength and complete healing from her surgery. And we pray for the successful uh, surgery of Brother Aaron Medidas and he is now uh, being taken care of and we are praying for uh, his complete recovery and your provision as well. Our missionaries and pastors who are laboring in the field, Pastor Ariel Castro in New Zealand, Missionary Velsa Siama in Myanmar, Missionary Felix Arma and family in Ghana, Africa, Pastor Doc Apawan in Abukay, Bataan, property and building, safety of our brethren in Myanmar, missionary Anthony for his deputation, Pastor Ireneo Bugtong, he just currently uh, uh, underwent surgery. We are praying for recovery for uh, this pastor and that you would also provide his financial needs. Missionary Tran Dakmin and Hana Tran for their strength and those people who are affected by Ukraine and Russia conflict, we are praying for uh, your peace upon these two nations. Alegria Fundamental Baptist Church for the church building, your financial provision upon them. And the following people are praying for their examination. Karen Ormado for CPA board exam, 
on May 26 to 28. Odell Blackhawk Battery Exam at St. Luke's College of Nursing and Dentistry Examination for Delia Marie Benitez. There will be a theoretical exam on June 8 to 10 and practical exam on June 15 to 22. Vanessa Braga, licensure examination for social workers on September 18 to 20, that you would remind everything that they have learned and memorized. Even uh, we are praying for a new pastor at ABBC Teresa, uh, somebody that would lead them. Uh, uh, we are praying for a pastor for this church. And BBC Santa Mesa has the following prayer request for the church officers and staff. Continue to guide them, the absentees, that they would touch their heart once again. Tithes and faith promise offerings, follow-up visitors, home Bible studies and office Bible studies, volunteers for church ministries, our unsaved loved ones, more souls to be saved this year through tracts distribution, street preaching, follow-up lessons, uh, outreaches, DVBS, and any evangelistic meetings being done in our church. The Royal Christian Academy, they are done by this Friday, and next week there will be their the recognition and graduation that we can continually provide the needs of the academy. Even Asia Baptist Bible College, we are praying for a good number of enrollees this coming school year. The children ministry, that you would strengthen all the Sunday school teachers, that they would have this goal to raise godly generation in our church. The good news classes, the campus ministry, that you would save souls from these ministries. The Saya Young People Ministry under Manong Ruben, continue to guide him to lead our young people to live a, a holy life before you. The Disciples and New Believers class, the DVBS on July 4 to 6. We are praying for your protection upon our kids as we fetch them and teach them the gospel of Jesus Christ. And on July 7, there will be a Children's Sunday because children are important before you. That's why our church is giving importance of these little children. And continue to, we continue to pray for our church for the spirit of reconciliation, spirit of humility, spirit of compassion, that you work within us and the Holy Spirit will change our hearts. The preaching of your word will change our attitude. Use your servant as I lead your people and it is only by your grace. Continue to be with us the rest of the night as we ponder upon your word and help us to understand, cause us to understand your word people attending on site and online. We pray all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. One more song, Brother JR. One more song. If this is your first time to be at Baptist Bible Church, can you please raise your hand to acknowledge you? May first time visitor po ba tayo? Yan. Anong pangalan mo, brother? Ha? Ha? Miguel? Ha? Miel? Miel? Uh, welcome sa'yo, brother. So, shall we all stand up, please? And welcome. Let's welcome our uh, visitor. There's a world Christian, welcome here, hallelujah, there's a welcome here, a welcome here, there's a Christian, welcome here. I love that thrill that I feel when I get together with God. 
uh, please remain standing as we sing our uh, second song. Let's please turn your hymn books to page 176. Page 176, we'll be singing the song, Victory Ahead. On the first verse now, racing. When the hosts of Israel led my God, round the walls of Jericho, softly dropped. you to please stand up again to, and open your Bible to the book of Acts as we give respect to the Word of God. Book of Acts chapter 12. Acts chapter 12. It is called the Acts because this is the Acts of the Apostle during the first 100 years after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 12, we are going to read verses 1 to 16 responsibly. I'm going to read verse 1 and so forth. You, you read verse 2 until verse 16. Now about the time Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel, but thought he, was, he saw a vision. And when Peter was come to himself and said, Now I know of his surety that the Lord had sent his angel and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectation of the people of the Jews.
And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came to hearken named Rhoda. And they said unto her, Thou art mad. But she constantly affirmed that it was even so. Then said they, It is his angel. Father, we thank you for the reading of your word. It is so precious. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to hear your word once again here at we have this service at midweek and for us to strengthen each other. And we, we, we have just uttered our prayers before you. And we believe that you have heard all of our prayers and you are going to answer this according to your will and it is according to your time. Lord, we just trust you. And we are praying for the working of the Holy Spirit that the, we may know the truth about the passage that we have heard, we have read this evening. Use your servant and may your name and your word be exalted in the midst of us. We commit all these things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you very much. Grounded. Okay. Medyo mahangin daw, no? Okay na yung sound ko? Pareho lang. Parang pareho lang. Hello? 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 Okay na ta. Okay na rin siguro. Um, Acts chapter 12, uh, some of you are familiar with the story about Peter when, when he was imprisoned. Peter was imprisoned. In the, the context of Acts chapter 12, there was already a great persecution. According to historian Josephus, he was a Jew. The preaching of the apostles, they ceased not to preach and teach Jesus Christ in Jerusalem. And they filled Jerusalem with their doctrine. And because of this, many inhabitants of the city were converted into Christianity. And religious leaders, especially the Judaism, began to persecute the believers. And they put them in prison because of just simply preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, that, that, that Jesus of Nazareth rose from the dead. And it was, it was not a, a Marites story. I know, sorry, I ko na naman yung Marites. It was not because there was a news that Jesus Christ did not rise from the dead. His body was stolen by His disciples. And that is... That, that news is spread all over the city. And whoever believes in this person, you will be put into prison because there is only one God, Jehovah, according to the Judaist belief. If you believe somebody else, then you are committing idolatry. You are considering another God rather than Jehovah. So the persecution was so great. And because of that, Herod killed James, the brother of John with the sword. By the way, sino ba yung unang namatay? Christian martyr. Hindi si James. Eh. Stephen. Binato siya ng step, stepping. Hindi, hindi stepping. Binato siya ng bato. Okay? Stephen was the first Christian martyr. And then followed by James, the brother of John. You know James? Ito yung mayabang eh, Lord. No? Gusto namin, pagdating namin sa glory, kanang kamay kaming dalawang magkapatid, una pala siyang namatay. Mahirap pala yung mayabang, no? Nauna kang mamatay. Ito yung magkapatid. Remember James and John? They asked power, seat of power in glory. Si John yung huling namatay naman. He wrote the book of Revelation. So James, and when you are in this uh, situation that one of our members was killed by Herod. And then, if you read the story, another one was taken to prison. Sino kinuwa? It's Peter. Why Peter? 
Probably he was the leader of the twelve. Wala naman sinabi ang Bible because after the Pentecost, after the Holy Spirit filled them in the house and the Holy Spirit came to them, Peter was able to preach during Pentecost. 3,000 souls got saved. And he was able to speak into many languages. And it's because of the Holy Spirit's working. And by this, when Peter was in prison, what happened? There was a great persecution of Herod against Christians, and he killed James and imprisoned Peter. If you read the story, the church prayed for Peter. What a church prayer can do. And I want you to know this evening, praying, church prayer is very important. And we can learn from this. A prayer was made in verse 5, if you read your Bible, there was a prayer was made. And this, in these people, in verse 12, the Bible says in the last part of that verse, where many were gathered together praying in the house of Mary. Prayer was made of the church in the house of Mary. Ang church noon, nasa mga bahay pa lang ng mga believers. They don't have a building like this. By the way, in the first place, church means the people, ecclesia, called out assembly, baptized people. It is not the building. Technically, speak, technically speaking, scripturally speaking, church is the people. Okay? Yung pag sinabing ecclesia, tao yun, hindi yun building. Ngayon lang tung 20th century na magkaroon tayo ng idea, uy, galing ka ng church and we refer to this building. But, when you talk about the Bible, pag sinabi ng Bible na church, it's the people. And there was a church inside that house of Mary. And many people behind the prayer, many were gathered together praying. Many people, they gathered to pray. And I believe these people are prayer warriors. They heard that Peter was in prison. And these people have a time People with knees to bend. People who did not take time to pray, but people who had time to pray. By the way, when you pray, don't just take time to pray. Make time to pray. There's a difference between taking and making. Diba palagi sinasabi, take time to pray. No, don't take time to pray. Make time to pray. Mag-create ka talaga ng time. Don't just take time. Kasi when you just take time, mag-post ka lang ng konti, but create time. Make time to pray. And these people, they gathered together. People who were nigh to God, for they were confident to approach God through prayer. People behind this prayer, marami silang nag-pray. And I believe these people were faithful not only people behind the prayer, many people prayed for Peter. Look at their attitude in verse 5. The Bible says, they, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church. So tama pala, no? nasa bahay ni Mary yung church. Prayer was made without ceasing, without stop. The persistency of prayer, not only the people behind the prayer, there was a persistent prayer prayer being made for Peter. Prayer was made without ceasing. And it is not a vain repetition because this pray kind of prayer is without hypocrisy and without selfishness. This is a continual knocking on heaven's door. This is a stretching of faith. It is a prayer that is called a second miler prayer. It is also called a wrestling prayer. It is a non-stop begging before God. It is a prayer that expects power and deliverance. And I believe that. It is a prayer to get God's attention. Because they cease not without ceasing. The prayer was made without ceasing. It is a prayer that never quits or easily gives up. You know, when the Lord Jesus Christ talks about prayer in Luke chapter 18, verse 1, the Lord said that men ought always to pray and not to faint. 
When Jesus Christ said this in verse 1 of Luke chapter 18, He made a parable out of that. Remember the story of a widow, the importunate widow? Ano yung sabi ng importunate? I-M-P-O-R-T-U-N-A-T-E Importunate widow. Di ba sabi ng widow? Avenge me of mine enemies. Avenge me of mine enemies. Kinulit niya yung judge. Eh yung judge, hindi naman siya natatakot. Hindi siya God-fearing na judge. Eh. Suplado siyang judge. If you read your Bible. But this widow, sabi, ng, sabi niya, Avenge me of my enemies. He, she was very importunate. Sa Tagalog, makulit. Nakarinig na kayo ng makulit na tao? Uy, bumili ka naman ng yema. Pinaghirapan ko. Uy, bili ka naman ng yema. Uy, bili ka naman. Uy, kakakulit nga na. Bili ka ng yema. Minsan yung makukulit, may mga, may mga ano rin, ano? Ano yung kailangan natin? Mga makukulit sa prayer. And when this widow, the Bible says, her continual coming, the judge helped her because of her continual coming. She was so importunate. Avenge me of mine enemies. Avenge me of mine enemies. And this is what the Lord wants us to do. Persistency in prayer. And when we do that, I believe this prayer would reach heaven. This prayer would reach the throne of grace. And this prayer would reach the very heart of God. Persistency. There was a, a, a mother in Caloacan many years ago and he was, she was praying for her unbelieving husband. You know, she prayed for her unbelieving husband for more than 20 years. Ba't nga ganun ang istorya, no? Before na mamatay yung asawa niya, tumanggap din sa Panginoon. Sister Lillian, parang story mo rin, ano? Ganun talaga mga istorya, no? Kung may nakikinig sa akin, mga unbelieving husband, tapos yung asawa mo, Christian, oy, totoo yung sinasabi ng asawa mo, makinig ka. For more than 20 years, Lord, Lord, touch the heart of my husband. Touch the heart of my husband. Alin niyo ba? Kung, diba? Keep on knocking heaven's door. Persistency in prayer. And, and the church also, we can learn from them. Not only people, many people prayed. Not only there was a persistency of prayer. The church also prayed very particular. In verse 5, sabi ng Bible, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for Him. Particular in prayer. Prayer was made for Peter. You know, when you pray to God, be specific. Tell to God, be particular. Be specific in your prayer. Tell to God your detailed request. In detail, meaning to say, let your request, request be made known unto God. What was their prayer request? Anong prayer nila kay Peter? Palagay niya, what would be their prayer? Kailangan ko ng audience participation. Palagay niya, what was their prayer request for Peter? Huh? Hindi sinabi ng Bible eh. Pero, if, if you read the context, ah, kundi, context tayo, aral tayo ng konti ng Bible. But, but, but probably, what was their prayer request? Context muna tayo. What was their prayer request? Huh? Unang-unang prayer request na, Para makuha niyo yung context, may pinatay. A sample natin, ha? pinatay si JR. Nagbigay ng trucks dyan, pinatay. Tapos hinuli si, si Roche. Siyempre, iisipin mo, ganun din, kung, what, kung ano yung ginawa kay JR, pinatay ng sword, ganun din ang gagawin dito sa kabila. So most likely, ang prayer ng Lord is spare the life of Peter. Yun yung immediate context niya. Yun yung magiging spare the life of Apostle Peter. Very specific yung prayer na lang. Or, siguro next na lang, sana makawala siya sa prison. And that's very impossible. How many soldiers took him? 
Ala. Hindi kayo nagbabasa ng Bible nyo. Ilang, ilang soldiers ang kumuha kay Peter? Ha? Huh? How many? Quaternion, 16 soldiers. It is in verse 4. Be particular in your prayer. Whenever you have your prayer, prayer request, don't pray in general. Be specific. Kung ano yung need nyo, sabihin nyo yun sa Panginoon. After your request, Lord, wala na kaming bigas. Ubus na yung bigas. Bigyan nyo muna kami ng bigas. Siguro, Lord, mga 25 kilo na bigas. Tignan mo, specific. Nag-pray ka na, di maging specific ka na. I, I, do you still remember? I, 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 I know I have shared this to you. There was a family in, in, in Cavite. He, he is a worker of a church. Sabi, Lord, please give me, bigyan mo naman kami ng food. I don't know kung particular siya sa prayer niya, hindi niya sinabi, pero said, later on, a, 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 an askal delivered a food. Isang aso ang nag-deliver ng food, lichon manok. Hindi kinain ng aso. It was delivered to the family. Kasi nag siya. Remember when George, uh, what was that, that the, the orphanage? George, the name of the owner of orphanage in London, many years ago, Ah, Mueller. Thank you, bro. bro. Sorry po, uh, age. George Mueller. There was a time that the kids have no food. They just prayed anyway. Oh, Lord, thank you for this bread and milk. And suddenly, somebody knocked the door. You know the story. Nasira yung sasakyan. Inunload yung, yung milk. Inunload yung bread. And they had bread that time and milk. Would you think, is that an accident? No, it is not an accident. George Wheeler was particular in his prayer. Lord, and they prayed for him. And what happened? No power on, are you aware that no power on earth can stop this kind of prayer? Herod the king and his 16 soldiers could not stop this. Even the persecuting Jews were powerless. The religious leaders were silenced. Not only no power on earth can stop this kind of prayer, no prison on earth can hold you in this, with this kind of prayer. The Bible says, wards and gates were opened. Chains fell off from his hands in verse 7 and in verse 10. Not only no power on earth, not only no prison on earth, no perpetration can prevail with this kind of prayer. May mga taong pinagpaplanunan kayo ng masama. I tell you, there are evil deeds that are prevented by church prayer. This is how powerful a church prayer can do. And I know, ang ating church is suffering some kind of, uh, you know, at kailangan palang mag-united tayo, mag tayo sa ating prayer. Just like this, these people, they prayed. You know what happened? When the church prayed for Peter, it caused God to send this angel in verse 7. An angel of the Lord. God sent a special deliverer and a special deliverance for Peter. You know when you pray? When the church prays, God is moved. Heaven is involved and Peter is removed. I repeat that. No nag sila, God is moved, heaven is involved, and Peter is removed. There was a divine intervention and no human power can hinder this. We know that if God be for us, who can be against us? The Lord just sent this angel. When the, when when Many people prayed for Peter. And I believe that when church prayed for somebody, God sends a divine intervention. God sends somebody from heaven. Ako, no? Ako naniniwa, I don't know with you, no? Naniniwa na ako sa ministering spirit. I do. It's recorded in Hebrews. You're not aware that God sent His spirit, is, is ministering spirit. Nagpapadala pa rin. 
ang Panginoon ng, ng, ng mga angel niya. One time, I had a, I had a friend in, in Australia, somewhere in, in New South Wales, and his name, was, name is Pastor Jonathan Medina. There, they had this youth outing. One of, his, one of their young people fell from the cliff. Pambihira. Butin lang tubig. Sira yung ikanyang spleen. You know, they were in the middle of the jungle. And all of a sudden, there was an old man appeared. And he was able to contact a helicopter. Meron siyang, I don't know, may walkie-talkie or what. And then, dumating helicopter for rescue. And then all of a sudden, that old man disappeared. And Pastor Jonathan Medina, they're, they're, they are in the middle of the jungle. And Pastor Jonathan believed that God must have sent one of his angels. It is a divine intervention. When a, when a church prayed, di nga alam ni Peter, eh. later on niya lang malaman yun. Tingnan niya, tingnan natin. It caused God to send this angel. And what happened also, when, when church prays, it caused God's people to see astonishment. Even Peter cannot believe. Look at, look at in verse 9. And he went out and followed him and wished not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he saw a vision. Peter could not believe. He thought that he was only dreaming or he was only, I mean, looking on a vision. Sabi niya, hindi totoo. It is just a vision. And he saw an angel. Later on, nalamang na lang na angel talaga. And even Peter could not believe. And when Peter was able to, hindi naman nag-escape, ano, he was freed by the angel, na, na, yung mga lock niya na wala, eh, nakalas yung kanya mga chain. They fell off. Tinanggal ng angel. And Peter went to the house of the church. Kumatok siya. Ano sabi ng Bible? And Peter knocked. And she knew Peter's voice. Ano sabi niya? And Rhoda opened not the gate for gladness when she heard there was a damsel, batang babae. Damsel, when, when she said she did not open the, the, the gate because of gladness, sabi niya sa church, hey, Peter stood before the gate. Ano sabi ng mga taga-church? Thou art mad. May tama ka ba, Rhoda? Ano yung minsan no, pag nag-pray kayo? Kahit kayo hindi kayo naniniwala na in-answer na ng Panginoon yung prayer nyo. Ano, ano? Ano yung sabi ng Bible? When you pray, believing that you have received the answer already. Sabi niya, thou art mad, uh, Roda. Baka naman angel niyan. It is his angel. They could not believe that Peter was released from prison. That is very impossible. I don't know. Baka lang pinag nila, Oh Lord, please spare Peter. Huwag siyang patayin ni Herod. And then all of a sudden, Peter was before the gate. And they were astonished. Some did not believe that their prayer was answered by the Lord because Peter was unheard, quietly released, no soldiers around him. And they were astonished. Church prayer is astonishing. Church prayer is amazing. And God's power is evident. God works on things we don't expect. You know, when we pray together, God honors a united prayer. He honors that. God honors a persistent prayer. Oh, BBC Santa Mesa, if we could only be united. If we could only be united in prayer. Miracle will happen in this church. Oh, I pray. Oh, I pray, you know, every day, every night, I beg the Lord that this church will have a spirit of compassion, a spirit of humility, a spirit of reconciliation, no pride. Believe me, by God's grace, the Lord will bring revival in this church. There will be a divine intervention if we could only pray together. Pero pag iba-iba tayo ng prayer, patay tayo dyan, Lord. Lord, tirahin mo yung Lord. Patayin mo na yung Lord. Oh, patay tayo dyan, walang mangyayari sa atin. But united, oh Lord. 
We need Pastor Peter. Please spare his life. Iisa yung prayer nila. And one of these days, I'm looking forward, one of these days, we will be amazed by the Lord's power. If we could only be united in prayer. What a prayer, what a church prayer can do. Not only it costs God to send His angel, not only it costs God's people to see astonishment. Look at in verse 17. The Bible says, Acts chapter 12, But He beckoning unto them with the hand to hold their peace, declared unto them, how the Lord that brought him out of the prison, you know, who is glorified? It caused God's people to glorify the Lord because God, the Lord, brought him out of the prison. Remember, every victory, always remember, it always comes from God. Anything that would happen in this church, it always comes from the Lord. It is Hindi yan manggagaling sa akin. Pag dumating magkaroon revival sa Santa Mesa, it is not the interim pastor. I am just a help. It is the working of the Lord. Sabi ng Bible, if it is the Lord's working, it is marvelous in our eyes. Ito yung nagagawa ng prayer. Church prayer is amazing. By the way, nag, nag, katatanggap ko lang ng message kanina from Janet Medidas. She wants to thank the church, BBC Santa Mesa, for praying her husband. And he's gradually, slowly, tinanggal na yung tubo sa bibig niya and nakakapagsalita na siya. Gum, gusto nang umuwi ni Brother Aaron. Sabi niya, gusto ko nang umuwi. Sino ba magbabayad nito? Sabi siya ni Brother Aaron. Sabi mo, Sister Janet, siya magbabayad niyan. Diba nakakatawa? Because sabi niya, thank you church. Because you prayed for him. Alam niyo, balang araw, you are going to need the prayer of the church. Kaya huwag niyong sisirain yung church. Kasi someday, kakailanganin din natin ang church to pray for us. At pag maraming nagpe-pray, remember, it takes only one man when God did not send the rain. When Elijah prayed, the Lord did not send rain for three years. It takes only one man, a faithful man, a fervent prayer. What if not only one, what if a faithful and a fervent church would pray for us? And you can see the power of the Lord. Alam nyo, pag nakita ng Panginoon, united yung prayer, yung, yung church sa prayer, oh, I love this church. This is a praying church. And I'm going to bless this church. And I love this church. They pray together. They, they don't fight each other. And I love this church. I'm going to bless this church. And every prayer will be answered. I believe that. Pag persistent tayo sa prayer, Oh, Lord! I'm not going to release you unless you bless me, just like Jacob. Oh God, we are not going to release you unless you give revival in our church. Oh God, we are not going to release you unless you do miracle in our church. And that should be our attitude. And the Lord will let us send His divine intervention. The Lord will just allow us to see astonishment. And at the end, we are going to glorify Him for this. Church, I, I encourage you to feel, I encourage you every Wednesday to fill the Lord's house with prayer warriors because church prayer is so powerful before God. Let us all stand up and let us pray. Father, we thank you. Tonight, we have seen that the prayer of the church made Peter released from prison and it is not an accident because it is done by a united church, a persistent prayer. And this is our prayer. I know some of us are hurting from any sickness and we continue knock on heaven's door. Oh Lord, we know you are so powerful. Why don't you pray this evening? Pray for this church. Sa aming mga kaibigan, may bisita ako nakita. 
Alam mo, ang prayer ng church namin, maraming masave si Jesus Christ. The reason siya namatay sa krus, namatay siya para sa kasalanan mo. Inilibing siya pero nabuhay siya na magmuli. Nagkaroon siya ng buhay uli. Pag nanampalataya ka sa Kanya, the Lord will give you everlasting life. May kaibigan kami rito, isang bata. Pag tinanggap mo siya sa puso mo, magkaroon ka ng buhay na walang gan pag nagsisi ka ng kasalanan mo. Maya, mamaya, share ka namin. BBC Santa Mesa, it's time to be united in prayer. And it is possible and the Lord will intervene. And I believe that that is my faith. And slowly, and you know that you are seeing it with your own eyes, slowly the Lord is doing miracles at BBC Santa Mesa. Join me in prayer. Father, we thank you. Last Sunday, we saw victory. Last Sunday, we saw your glory. Last Sunday, we were challenged by the Word of God. Thank you for our mothers. Thank you for our Dorcases in the church. Lord, we are looking forward for this coming Sunday for another victory. You are looking forward for the last Sunday of the month for another opportunity to go out there and tell others about Jesus Christ, that we will go outreach, we will go street preaching, we will go gospel distribution. And Lord, by doing that, we know that you are going to give increase in our church. If you could only see our attitude that we win souls for the Lord, you are going to honor that effort. You are going to honor that faith. And Lord, we are praying for more prayer warriors in our church, more knees uh, to bend and to ask and beg your power. Thank you for the prayer warriors. Thank you for doing miracles in our church. Continue to bless our giving and continue to be with us. Bless us and dismiss us with nine blessings and protect us as we go to our respective places. For we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's get our offering for tonight. God bless the... You may be seated. Brother Randley. God love it, a cheerful giver. Amen. God bless your gift. Kita nyo, church, napakahaligan ng prayer ng church. Continue to pray for each other, okay? Okay, for our dismissal song, let's all stand up. Brother JR, come on. He does in, a war, in one song. And after that, we are dismissed. Amen. Please open your hymn books to page 204. Page 204, we'll be singing the song, To God Be the Glory. On the first verse now, ready, sing. To God be the glory. people say, Amen. You are now dismissed.